Where will you sit with God? The first generation was the generation of Moses and Joshua. They had personal relationship with God. They have a victory after victory, experience of miracles, of grace, of provision, protection, the presence of God. This is where you are a believer and disciple. Sabi ni Jesus, if any of you wants to be my follower, you must give up your own way of living and take up your cross daily. That's a chair of commitment. Believe and follow Jesus. Ang invitation ni Lord sa is to recommit yourself sa Kanya. Obey Him and always be faithful. Yung next chair, it represents the elders. This is a chair of compromise. They believe, but they only selectively follow. Itong mga tao nito, they will go to church, but they won't really believe anything they hear. Here's the invitation, repent. Repent is not a bad thing. It's a golden opportunity. In Mark chapter 1, verse 15, it says, Repent, change your mind, and believe the gospel. The third chair people, these were the people na hindi committed, hindi rin compromising, sila yung contra. They have rejection of God. They reject the Lord, and they do not know Him. Ang alok ng Diyos is to receive Jesus. Ask His guidance and watch how God will work in your life. Make that decision to personalize your relationship and trust in God. It only takes one person, you, to start a new trend. Become a carrier of the Lord and get to know God intimately for yourself. You know, mag invest ka sa relationship mong personal kay Lord because He loves you personally. Return to me and I will return to you. If you are so trying to hold on to your life, you will lose it. But if you give up your life, your will, and your ways, you will save it.